One thing that's very interesting to me is trade management. I'm a firm believer that trade management is much more important than the entry. And with Ninja Bots, with Skeeto and Skeeto Bots, since we've kind of abdicated or we've delegated the entry responsibilities to the bots, you know, we're freed up to spend more time thinking about trade management. So the question that we're discovering or spending a lot of time uh, doing analysis on and working forward is really, should you scale into a trade or scale out of a trade? If you look on the web and you search for trade management day trading, there's really not a lot of information out there. And what I've found is that classic sequence that we trade over and over again, which is where you have the head, the reversal at support, moves up to a neckline, right shoulder, the head is an entry possibly, or you could pass on it, the right shoulder is an entry, the neckline breaches an entry, the ABC retracements are an entry. This setup allows you multiple entries. So let's go through this. And this is why I fundamentally believe you should scale in and not scale out. Because you're assuming too much risk in terms of money management out of the gate. Right? Because let's say this is the perfect scenario. Okay? And then we'll, we'll put holes in it. But just in terms of logic, this is the lower Ludwig level down here. Right? Price comes down to it. And then we have oh, you've got the yellow dot and then the engulfing sweep down with the hammer and everything is perfect and you don't buy at support. Or you do. It doesn't matter. You buy one contract, you buy zero contracts. But that happened. You missed it, whatever. It doesn't make a difference. If this thing is going to traverse from her blue to her red, it's going to take a couple of hours and you're going to have multiple opportunities to get in. So why put your whole opportunity, you know, that much risk out of the gate? Because, oh, I missed this. Or I stood down completely. I'm not buying the low. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen next? It's going to go and it's going to establish some sort of neckline. Not every time, but quite frequently, it's very pristine. Particularly at the levels, if, we're, if you're trading on this larger time frame. The true Ludwig levels. All right, so the neckline, you may do whatever. The right shoulder, you're pretty ready for it because if you had a clean here and you have a clean neckline and you have conclusionary selling here and then a new pivot on a larger bar, boom, now we're in one, okay? Okay, what's gonna happen next? My target is either here. My target is, let's say the neckline with my stop below here and if this thing rockets up, I'm going to move my target way up, right? The market's going to dictate that. And we know what it looks like when it jams there. All right. All the stars align. It goes rockets up. And now I've moved my target out. I'm one and I've tightened my stop. I've got no risk and I've got profit in the trade. This neckline breach trade, it should. If it rocketed up here, I'm very safe here. Now I add my second contract. And I'm, I'm, my dollar cost averaging is positive. I'm not taking on risk at all. Okay, well, where's it going? Like we have the blue, right? The end of the day is blue or whatever the thing is, your market profile. But we're looking for 80 cents, a buck 20, $2, right? No stress now. It's going to go up further. The neckline traded. I'm at two. Great. Move the target up, whatever. So then we got noise, right? It's going to go up. It's going to go down. You're going to have an hour at lunch where you're pulling. Ugh, who knows? Then you're either waiting for ABC, pull, clean ABC pullbacks where there's conclusionary selling and then the long pivot again. And now you're in at three and then maybe another breach. And it, it's, it's less trading, less risk bigger moves if you're an intraday swing guy and are not looking for action.